Bowman here from BW1.com, and will the HTC One save HTC? So the question in this video is, will the HTC One save HTC? Nope, but it won't kill it either. So there's been a couple of days since the HTC announcement and we did have some hands on with the HTC One and you can check out that video right over here. But before you go over and check that out, um, let's just talk about the HTC One for a moment. Why I think it's not gonna kill HTC, but it's not gonna save it at the same time. I think it's gonna keep it sort of right where it is, which may be a good thing for it right now. The HTC One is a very, very nice device. It has a signature HTC build quality to it nice extremely good a lot of people don't like that plastic feel that some samsung phones have so they're gonna really like how the htc one feels a very good build quality with it has that quad core processor inside of it the two gigabytes of ram typical specs that you see in most uh high-end uh, smartphones these days. Also it comes with an ultra pixel camera. So it's supposed to be one of the best cameras out there, if not the best one. I'm gonna leave that for up to debate right now because we really haven't had time to really test it and utilize it. We've seen a few leaked pictures here and there, but not really where we can use it and see how well, how good it is and how much better it is than the current top smartphone cameras that are out right now. My whole thing right now with the HTC One, while it has all those good uh, specs and goodies inside of it, and even with the software, with the overhaul of Sense 5, which looks really good, don't get me wrong, it looks very, very good, very good overhaul and should work well, it still goes back to the software with things. Now, I remember back when I talked about the Samsung Galaxy S3 and I did a video about being in a disappointment or not, you can check out that video here. This is back almost pretty much a year ago. And where I kind of mentioned, I should have mentioned about how, um, software is really going to be the differential between sort of what the Galaxy S3 does and the rest of the competition and that pretty much proved my point there especially over the HTC One X they all had pretty much the same hardware inside of them it was really going to be the software that made a difference and I kind of saw there with the Galaxy S3 it, it you know software kind of I think made, was one of the key factors that made difference besides some other things marketing you can nail, you can nail a couple things down marketing availability things like that but that was kind of a huge thing to, for, for that phone to be so successful um, HTC really, I think, sees that now, recognizes that, and is trying to do that here with Sense 5, but it's sort of, this phone's sort of playing catch up here to some of the other ones out there. Even LG has recognized that. They recognized that early and really saw that they needed to make better software, and they're seeing that now with the Optimus G. None of, none of these uh, uh, UIs are perfect, but you can see that they're getting better and better as they go along here. And LG's recognizing that, and they're doing well with the Optimus G with the changes that they've made. Samsung probably is right now on top of um, Android, really, with how they use touch with and how they're utilizing it to work out well. Motorola with their very slimmed down UI, and also I think the link with Google with that has really, they provide a lot of great software as well, too, to make their user experience very good. HTC is trying to now do the same things as well, too, without sort of muddling it down. Oh, it still looks a little bit cluttered. Not too sure about sort of the blink feed thing. It's nice that it's there. Not too sure of how well that's going to sort of implement and work out, but they're, they're making baby steps and they're really going in the right direction. So, I, so where it should be really good. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the HTC One is a great phone and it's going to sell well. I haven't done my review on it yet. I can't wait to do my review on it, but it's going to sell well. It's going to be one of the top phones out there. It's a little disappointing that their U.S. strategy is a little, they're going to be struggling a little bit with not having all four major U.S. carriers with it. And I know Verizon's not carrying, I know they have the Droid DNA, that, that the Droid DNA is not the HTC One where it's one phone. We saw how well that works when Samsung got the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2 across all the U.S. carriers to be the same exact phone with pretty much all the same exact specs and same exact look. We see how well that's working out for them. You know, the only people that kind of got away with that was Apple with the iPhone, but they came in in a much different market strategy because, you know, iPhone really is on a T-Mobile, but a lot of people hack it to make it work on T-Mobile, so they're a little bit different. But overall, you really got to get your flagship phone, all four carriers at the same time, get them all on there, and with them out having Verizon, that's a huge chunk of possible customers that, that the phone is not going to be available to. And just saying the Droid DNA is not going to be, that's just not, that's just not, the same thing. It really is just not the same thing. It doesn't have the quad core, it doesn't have the ultra pixel camera and all those type of things. Then the new quad core uh, Snapdragon 600 processor that this has and the ultra pixel camera and a few other specs with it as well too. Probably won't have Sense 5 or may have it but not exactly the same as what's on this phone. So 
that's the real disappointing thing and that's where I, I see where HTC One is going to do well but it's going to keep HTC in the same place however I do think they're on the right track and the next phone a successor to the one is going to be the one that I think they hit a home run on and get themselves back up to the top and the upper echelons of these uh, of the smartphone manufacturers out there so that's my kind of thoughts on the HTC One. You can share your thoughts below on what you think of it. Is it disappointing? Is it great? Do you think it? Do you think it's really going to be the phone to have? Do you think everybody really just raised more questions about the Samsung Galaxy S4, which is going to push the bar obviously a lot higher? LG is going to come out with something soon that's going to push the bar a little bit higher. Can um, HTC sort of survive in this market with the HTC One and have have the room to hit that home run, which I'm pretty sure they can do. Share your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. I've uh, written an accompanying article with this. You can check that in the description. Also, that's where all the social uh, networking is, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all the links to that is in the description. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.